The Tulsa Regional Chamber of Commerce hosted Governor Kevin Stitt today for its annual State of the State Luncheon. He talked about the issues facing our state and the push for more economic development across Tulsa and right here in Oklahoma. I got a chance to go to the luncheon today and learned what the governor says is going well and what can improve. We've got a lot of runway in front of us, a lot of blue skies, and, and we're excited about the opportunities. In a packed room at the Cox Business Convention Center, two news anchor Karen Lorson sat down with Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt to talk about the state of our state. Governor Stitt lauded Oklahoma's efforts to bring more companies to the area. Oklahoma is well positioned for a lot of those major opportunities. It's a sentiment shared by the Chief Operating Officer of the Tulsa Regional Chamber of Commerce as city leaders look forward. We're trying to think about for Tulsa what's next. We've done a great job of building this community out, um, but also thinking about what are the next big things that we need to be working on. And so we're really looking at that. The governor also said with $2.8 billion in savings at the end of fiscal year 2022, he wants to help ease the burden on many Oklahoma families who are still struggling under the weight of inflation. Primarily, he wants the legislature to end the grocery tax, with Oklahoma being one of only 13 states to currently have it. That is a regressive tax. In other words, people in the lower income, they spend a higher percentage of their income on groceries than right. people in the higher income bracket. Governor Stitt also focused on the changes at the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority, putting a moratorium on new growers, hiring 80 new enforcement officers, and tracking products seed to sale. We know that this product is not being sold legally like Oklahomans wanted, so we're getting control of that industry. With an overall focus on bringing more economic opportunities, jobs, and people to Tulsa, the Tulsa Regional Chamber says they'll continue to work with our elected leaders and businesses to make sure Tulsa continues to progress. We work hard with those companies to make sure they're welcome here, that they have the right incentives, that the things are put in place so they can expand, um, and so that helps ordinary Tulsans. The, the governor did answer questions about several more important topics during today's State of the State. You can watch his full talk with Karen on our website at KJRH.com.